La Schlons have always been a source of pride in California, but the historic drought is taking its toll. Here in this San Diego suburb, Paula Pearson had to turn her sprinklers off to comply with state water-saving measures. Her lawn quickly turned yellow under the scorching heat, so Paula decided to give it a little color by painting it green. When I heard about the spray paint, I, I, at first I kind of laughed a little bit at it, and, but then when the governor said, turn your system off, I said, oh gosh, this is really the only way I'm going to be able to keep my grass green, is to spray it. Jim Power invented a formula made with natural pigments, which he says isn't toxic. It only takes 30 minutes to apply, dries within hours, and is, ironically, water resistant. The mix also has a secret ingredient that keeps grass green for three months. That in, encompasses the um, pigment and uh, dries on the grass blades. Uh, so it won't, won't come off on the clothing or the feet or the pet's paws or anything like that. Jim touts these selling points wherever he goes, and business has been booming. It's a reflection of you, you know, so it's like if your car is dirty all the time or if, you're, if your house is messy all the time or if your lawn is overgrown or dead, it just shows that you don't take care of things. And so people want it to look nice and uh, it's an instant fix to that problem. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I, I'm thrilled. It's amazing. Paula is so happy with the results, she's decided to stop watering her lawn once a week, the minimum requirement to keep grass alive. But you can't always fight nature. In her backyard, the lawn is made of fake grass, surrounded by desert plants.